All right. We cannot take credit for what Yah is doing. And the reason that we can't take credit for what Yah is doing is because if it was us, especially when it comes to the idea of this word truth, where I mentioned um, that truth has to do with the Torah. It has to do with his covenant. So anything that is outside of the covenant of Yah, anything that's outside of the Torah, according to our Bible, is considered to be false or a false way. Truth is not about what you think is true and what I think is true. According to the Bible, truth is the word of Yah and the covenant relationship he has with Israel. It's the path of righteousness. So most of us know, and if we would be honest, again, this is a meditation. If we would be honest, we would know that there are times that Yah was um, trying to do things in our lives for us. And the whole time he was doing something, we were complaining. We were saying, no, we didn't want to hear it. We didn't. <laughs> And what ends up happening is because he's true to himself and he's true to Israel and he's true to his covenant, he stayed with it. He stayed with you, even though you personally probably would have never, as I said, you would have never put yourself through that. So therefore, how do we take credit? We don't. How do we get the glory? We don't. We tell Abaya, told our Rabbi for what he has done for us and for his truth's sake. Now, this is just a meditation. And so I'm only going to go a little bit further, but I want you to, to hear this. Or I should say with commentary. Most of it's going to be reading. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? <laughs> so let me fix that. Because in Hebrew, it says, if, if that's true about Israel, and right now Israel is going through it, the heathen that looks from the outside says this, where's their God now? That is the interpretation of that line. Where's their God now? Can you hear it? Where's their God now? They scattered to the four corners of the earth. Where their God now? Most of them are struggling trying to make the two ends meet. Where's their God now? That's what they say about us. Our people are being shot dead in the street with their hands up, dying with knees on necks. Where's their God now? Our communities being overran with senseless gang violence, satanic music, the killing of one another, the, the killing of our own unborn. Our communities are sick physically, sick mentally, sick socially. And the heathen look at us and go, where they God now? Why? Because they took our land. They took our language. They took our homes. They took our jewelry. They took our diamonds. They took all the gold. They took our streams. They took our mountains. They took our oil. They took our Bible. They took our work. They took everything and then enslaved the people. Um, and lastly, took the people and enslaved them. And then 400 years later, they're like, so where's your God? It's a meditation. And it's something to think about because that's literally what they're saying about us, Zion, especially when we wake up to the truth. Y'all keep talking about, yeah, where is he? Where is he? What's he doing? Where is he? It don't look like he's showing up. So not to keep this meditation too long, let's just read. But our Elohim is in the heavens. Huh? 
But our Elohim is in the heavens. See, you heathens can't see him. You don't know him. Therefore, you, you don't fear him. You ask questions, stupid questions like, where is he? So he's going to answer it for you. He ain't here. Among you. He, he is not here in the form of an idol like you heathens have. Oh, he's going to show it. Oh, he's going to show it to you in a minute. Our Elohim is in heaven. And you know what? By being the ruler of heaven, even though you can't see him, by being the rule of he ruler of heaven, verse three, he does whatever he wants to do. So obviously right now he wants to wake up Jacob because right now we're being awakened by the teaching and the preaching of the word of Yah. People waking up every day to their true identity. But obviously he allowed whatever to happen to us to happen to get us to the point to where we are right now, waking up to our true identity and reclaiming the true riches of the kingdom, which is really our covenant. I don't have time. This is just, this is just a meditation. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to read the rest of this. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. This is the heathen that they got it down here on earth. They have mouths, but they speak not. They have eyes, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses, they have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusts in them. Woo, you heathens, making up your own gods. All right. Oh, Israel. In other words, don't be like them. Oh, Israel, trust thou in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. That's us. O house of Aaron, preachers and teachers, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Verse 11, ye that fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Verse 12, Yahuwah has been mindful of us. Even though the world said he don't know you, he forgot you, you don't, he don't love you. No, Yahuwah has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear Yahuwah, both small and great. Yahuwah shall increase you more and more. Be encouraged, Zion. You and your children. You are blessed of Yahuwah, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are Yahuwah, but the earth has he given to the children of men. Oh, yes. Temporarily, they're running some things. It won't be long. The dead praise not Yahuwah, neither any that go down into silence. But that ain't us. No, no, no. But we will bless Yahuwah from this time forth and forevermore. Praise Yahuwah. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom. Told our Rabbi for this meditation. Don't forget, support the ark before you go, and we'll continue to support you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.